Hello everyone, I'd like to share with you a few trades that were posted on Friday, 11th of August 2023. These trades were shared by AA who's trading Nasdaq CFT. As you see, the macro chart is in downtrend and you can see the downtrend channel in the structural chart also with good momentum. So we are in very low risk area and using a smaller trading time frame. He identified two area of the pullback and using algo 125 entered this sell short positions and manage and exit them using exit strategy number one with profit and this is the result of his trades for the day so thank you aa for sharing your trades with us the next few trades were shared by ra from seattle who's trading nasdaq cfd if you look at the macro chart here we see it reached the area of the previous day low and a static support so the price got rejected at this point and we see an uptrend is formed in the structural chart and is the beginning of the trends so using setup b in this area and c and later t he identified several area of pullback space on algo one to five and entered and managed them with profit and the result of his trades shows profit factor of 3.61 a bit 56 percent win rate and average win to loss ratio of 2.8 so thank you RA for sharing your trades with us. The next few trades were shared by Castro, our global instructor who's trading gold USD. As you see in one minute trading chart, the price reached an area of static resistance and the macro is in wide range sideways. So we see he entered in this area with setup B and managed this and closed with very good risk to reward ratio. That was the area of previous entry now here. When the price bounced from the static support, he identified this area for the entry of the long positions with setup B and entered also and managed this with very good risk to reward ratio. And again, the price got rejected at this point and again the seller came back in this area and he took another sell short position for quick scalp and entered and managed also this with good profit. So thank you Castro for sharing your trades with us. The next few trades were shared by Jan, or global instructor, who is trading Nasdaq futures. As you see, the macro chart of the NQ and all Eminis are in downtrend and gaining momentum. So in this area of the pullback on the macro chart, he identified area of entry based on alignment of the one minute structural chart with the 10 second trading chart and entered several sell short positions and you can see the entry here and the exit area and the result of his trades for the day shows profit factor of 3.99 with 75 percent win rate and average win to loss ratio of 1.33 so thank you Jan for sharing your trades with us the next few trades are those that I have taken during the New York market session and the video with detailed explanation was sent to students yesterday so I'm going to replay the video here for you. Hello everyone. I'd like to share with you the trades that I have taken today on Friday, 11th of August 2023. These trades were taken on NASDAQ and Dow Jones and S&P 500 futures. If you look at the macro chart of one hour, we see that the price during the global session was fluctuating between the previous day close and low in a narrow range. And during the New York market session, the price started to go down on the NASDAQ and S&P and tested previous level of support. But for Dow Jones, it was more trendy. And after testing the previous day low, they started to go up. So this uptrend channel was taken on the Dow Jones with long positions repeatedly. And on NASDAQ, when the price was testing this level and got rejected, these two candles, I took several long positions using setup B. And on S&P at this point when the price was testing the previous day low and it slightly got rejected and went up, I took one long position and with quick scalp and all these signals were copied by copy traders to multiple Apex Trader funds accounts and the result of these trades shows profit factor of 13 with about 80% win rate and average win to loss ratio of 3.37. The largest winning trade was 280 and the largest losing trade was $54. So I hope this trade taken by the PAT system is useful for you and let us know if you have any questions. Have a wonderful day and also weekend.